Happening right now, pro-Palestinian protesters who are blocking a faculty parking garage at MIT are now back at their campus encampment. It appears school suspensions and warnings about discipline are not working. Boston 25 News reporter Joanna Burris live for us in Cambridge. And Joanna, you talked to one student who's supposed to graduate from there in a couple of weeks. Vanessa Mark, just about 45 minutes ago, students were down the street on Vassar blocking the entrance and exit to a faculty parking lot. Once it appeared students were getting detained, they came back up the street and here to their encampment. Now, I did talk to one student. She's supposed to be graduating in a couple of weeks. She tells me yesterday she got a suspension and an eviction notice, but that's not enough to get her to stop. Right now, <laughs> We have their attention. Senior Hannah Didabani joins MIT students as they link arms, preventing faculty members from entering and leaving the parking garage on Vassar Street. She's part of the school's pro-Palestinian encampment, calling on MIT to stop funding research for the Israeli Ministry of Defense. Yesterday I got the suspension and eviction notice, but I wasn't actually locked out of my dorm, and this morning they emailed and said they're going to be gracious. and allow us to stay in our housing until May 15th, 5 p.m. She says that's not enough to stop her. Another person at the protest took this cell phone video of a student getting arrested. I saw them push kids to the ground like over a dozen times before they actually made arrests. It's not gonna stay. Back on campus, Maya Makarowski is part of the MIT Israel Alliance. From the river to the sea. She says the school has failed to shut down the encampment after saying it would. The school has lost control of its students and in the process they have sacrificed the Jewish and Israeli students. Chancellor Melissa Nobles wrote a letter Wednesday saying this and any future encampments are not approved and must end at once. MIT's graduation is scheduled for May 31st on campus at Killian Court, leaving some students wondering why the encampment can't stay where it is on Kresge Lawn. Back here at the, at the encampment, everything has been peaceful and calm. I've also reached out to Harvard and Emerson for an update on their protests ahead of graduation, but I haven't heard back. Live in Cambridge, Joanna Boris for your local station, Boston 25 News.